Longtime Chicago favorite comedian John Campanera is performing this Thanksgiving weekend at Zany's. And he's joining us now with all the details, the history, because you're back again. Welcome yeah. home. Welcome yeah. home. 35 years. You know, when I was uh, seven years in, I got a call from Star Search to do oh, Star really? Search out in L.A. with Ed McMahon. It was 1985. It's like August. And... I told Rick, the owner of Zany's, Rick Hewitt, I said, hey, I think I'm going to give it a shot out there, you know. And he said, well, why don't you come back in a couple months for Thanksgiving? You could see your folks and do the club at the same time. And that was 85 of August, and been it's been going on ever since. since. Oh, isn't that amazing? That's yeah, awesome. It, it, it just, it, ca it got to be a tradition. Yeah. And then eventually I had my own kids, and I'm like, I didn't want to give up the gig, <laughs> so we would have Thanksgiving on Tuesday. Perfect. I'd fly in on Wednesday, then I'd have another Thanksgiving. So they've always had two Thanksgivings. That's and not so a bad by. thing. Yeah. Hey, it's, not, it's not bad to be doubly thankful for everything that you have. <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I mean? That's why I love Thanksgiving, because it's all about thanks and eating. You yeah. Know, oh, yeah. Eating none of that good. Christmas stress, buying gifts and everything. Oh. So did I read that you, and I, I think I'm using your words, that, um, never had a real job? That you got into this right out? And this is a tough business that you're yeah, in. Yeah, I graduated from Lewis University. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, I started doing stand-up that summer, yeah, and nice. then Rick asked me uh, if I could bartend, and he said, this way, if I have a fallout or anything, I could throw you up on stage, and that's why my act went from here to here, because I was able to get up every night, yeah. and I would bartend at the same time. I would open the show and do 10 minutes. And then go get behind the bar. And then take orders <laughs> before I went back. Because oh, at you the went time, back. we were only getting 20 people. Yes, yeah, so while you're on stage? It, yeah, it was just starting. The club was just starting out, you know. It used yeah. to be an old strip joint, and then they turned it into a comedy club. So funny. And I would take orders from the stage, because, hey, I'm going to go back and make your drinks. And then I'd bring up the first act. Oh but apparently, God. this is something that's been in your blood. You were the class clown? Oh, man. Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah in a way. Yeah, yeah it, was, uh, it all started like that. But actually, I didn't think of becoming a stand-up until I was a senior in college. We did a... I had an advanced public speaking class, and all of us had to do a comedy monologue for our final grade. Oh, really? And guys were doing stuff for Richard Pryor albums and Robin Williams albums. He didn't care if you plagiarized as long as you committed to the yeah, material. Right. Yeah. And I said, you know what, I'm just going to do my own thing. And I did. A, I had. I was doing impressions at the time as goof around, and I put them all into a baseball game. Yeah. And it went so over, over so well in class. My buddy says, "Hey, John, they're doing a gong show in, in Lockport here next <laughs> where I was in school." I said, "Why are you telling me?" He goes, "Why don't you do that thing you did for class?" Oh, funny. So. <laughs> I didn't even memorize, so then I memorized and we go over and do it. I won five hundred dollars cool. at the stupid gong show. That's great. Are you still using that? Today? No, no, that was my original bit that I started out, and then it was all impressions. You know, of all the all the all the people are dead now that are in the bit. But weren't you voted once as having the best Harry Carey impersonation uh, of all time? I know Harry told me he loved mine the best. Yeah. You know, he goes, John, when are you going to get a new act? All you do is me. <laughs> oh, that's good. That's awesome. He, he, that's made, he made me laugh because he, he didn't edit himself. And yeah. he would just blurt out whatever. And he, it was so funny. One time I'm watching the game, he goes, you know, the, the shortstop dropped the ball. And the son, he goes, here's the guy. Dave Concepcion grew up in the Dominican Republic where the sun shines 365 days a year and he misses a pop-up in the sun. <laughs> I just can't figure it out. And I would go, that's genius. And I would it just is. write it yeah, down and, and repeat it that night on stage because at the time he was with the White Sox. And he was only a local celebrity. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And then he got with the Cubs with GN, and he became a national celebrity. And then I was able to do him everywhere. But I, I love that you have the face to go with the voice too. You do the good face. Yeah. And you just like take on his old demeanor and <laughs> yeah. everything. You, know you got to I mean? sell it, right? Yeah, you got to sell, sell it. it. You got to sell it. <laughs> All well, right. Welcome back home for Thanksgiving. Always, a, always a great time. I love doing it. All right. You got a couple of shows coming up at Zany's on the 24th. That's tomorrow. I got a show tonight at Zany's downtown. Oh, Okay. And then Friday, I'm doing two shows out at Zany's in Rosemont. And then Saturday, I come back downtown for two more shows. Fantastic. Make sure to check them out. You can get tickets at chicago.zanies.com. John, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah.